So, welcome back to Super Zombie Player. For you guys, no time has passed, or it's only been a day, or whatever. For me, it's been two weeks since I even looked at this game, and I don't know where the fuck I am, so let's explore together! Um, I just, if I, if you follow me on the social medias or whatever, you know this already, but I just got back from a lovely vacation in Mexico with my boyfriend and his family, who very generously invited me along on this utterly luxurious vacation, which I so desperately needed. Um, we were in Zihuatanejo? Yeah? <laughs> it's like this little town, resort town, not a whole lot of, like, local fare to partake in, really. But, you know, whatever. It was great. And then I was in LA for two days where it was so cold I was literally shivering the entire 48 hours I was in town. So, you know, that's neat. Um, but I'm back in the DMV now, and real life has immediately set in. But hey, you know, vacations can't last forever. If they did, they wouldn't be vacations. Would they? Um, if you are in a place or such thing that celebrates Thanksgiving, um, I hope you had a good one. And if not, um, I hope I hope you had a good Thursday. That 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 day. That was like two weeks ago at this point, wasn't it? Like, why am I talking about Thanksgiving? I don't know. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to fucking figure out what the fuck's going on. I have had Hotline Bling stuck in my head all afternoon, and I fucking hate that song. But um. Fucking SciShow did an episode recently about, like, earworm songs and things like that and why they get stuck in your head and the sort of science behind both that and how to get rid of them. And apparently, um, most people, when they get a song stuck in their head, don't really mind because the reason that a song gets stuck in your head in the first place is because you like it, so you listen to it a lot, so it kind of implants itself into your brain. Um, but then, the reason you only really remember the annoying ones is because humans have a tendency to, like, focus more on negative memory and negative emotion and things like that over positive for some reason. Um, you know, like, it sticks out like a sore thumb, I guess. So, um, you, you get, I, I don't know who those lucky motherfuckers are who only get songs they like stuck in their head, but I always get the top 40 piece of shit thing that I hate stuck in my head because I hear it all the time and I don't want it. And right now, that's Hotline Bling. Because it's a goddamn internet meme at this point. And the song is so dumb! Somebody said that it's, like, supposed to be satirical and he doesn't really feel the way that he sings about it in the song, but, like, he did a very bad job of conveying that, if that was the case. The whole song, if you listen to the lyrics, is basically like, Yo, I left the city, I left you behind, former girlfriend or other romantic partner of mine, and now you're going and having your own life and making new friends and having fun without me, and I don't like that because you're my property, didn't you know? Ah, uh, my phone just rang. No! Shut up! Damn it! It's a person who messages me non-stop when they start. Okay. Silencing phone now. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, that song is so... I hate it. And the... I'm sorry. I get that it's like a hilarious meme because Drake's dancing is real weird and whatever, but uh... Can it end, please? Like, catchy songs and shit were bad enough, uh, before the days of the internet meme, but now it's like... If you don't like a song and it gets picked up by the internet, like, hive mind and turned into a joke, you're fucked for like months because you're just never gonna be able to escape it. At least before it was on the radio all the time, you could just not listen to the radio for a couple of weeks and it would be gone and you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. But now it's like fucking every... Every couple of weeks there's a new like song-based meme, whether through Vine or Tumblr or like YouTube or whatever. It's, I don't know, sometimes it's like a glorious thing, and sometimes it fucking sucks. It's a Pokemon report! Wow! 
Oh my gosh! I'm not gonna read all these. Psh, fuck that shit. Who needs information? Where are we even going? Fuck if I know. Have I been here? Yes. Wait. Oh. Wait. Where am I going? Have I been here? No. Alright, sweet. I literally don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think I need to find some kind of key card? Thingy? Maybe? Fuck if I know. It's been so long, man. Ugh. And the time is passing so slowly now. <laughs> you know, as the words exited my mouth, I realized that no one is going to get that that was supposed to be a reference to an in-sync track entitled Gone. Who's gonna know that? No one's gonna know that. That was so vague! <laughs> it is- it is an adventure in my brain, let me tell you. Man, I always get sniffly when I sit in this room to record. I'm like, totally fine, and then of course as soon as so, fucking the internet is meant to hear the sounds emitted from my person, then I get sniffly, and that's really annoying, and I am sorry, and I do not know why that happens. Why do I keep changing Pokemon, like, just all willy-nilly? Bro, you know what? You know what? You know what's a great way to feel like an ignorant American, even if you pride yourself on not being an ignorant American, is traveling to a country where you do not speak the language. <laughs> Uh, like, I'm sorry, I took French in high school, okay? I don't- I understand some Spanish if you talk slowly, but I can't speak it. Uh, I always feel so bad. I mean, I say always, like, I travel the world all the time. I felt so bad that whole week because everybody would be asking, you know, Habla Espanol? And I'd be like, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Most of the- most of the people on the resort spoke English, though, so it was okay. Because they're used to American tourists. Hell, they have a special Thanksgiving, uh, meal thingy, even though there's no- there's no Thanksgiving in Mexico, um, but, uh, at least not an American Thanksgiving, because it's the wrong country, but they have a- they- they pander to the American tourists, and it's apparently like an annual tradition for a lot of families, such as Alex's because they've been there like five times. It was super cool. It was real nice to do nothing for six days. That was good. Doing nothing sometimes is the best cure for your ails. If your ails are things like stress and overwhelmedness. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and then you touch down back home and all of a sudden you realize, oh shit, I have not checked my email in ten entire days! That's probably bad, right? <laughs> but it's cool. The world's not gonna end if I don't check my email while I'm on vacation, right? Right. Wait, there's a trainer over there. I mean a rocket dude guy person. Maybe I should have looked up where the fuck I was going before I started recording. But hey... <laughs> it's the learning process. We're learning. Together. We're learning to- why did I do solar beam? Why do I mash the A button and not pay attention? Why do I do this to myself? Y'all! Y'all. You guys. People. Friends. YouTube. I really want a capture card so I can record console games. I so badly want one. I wish I could buy one in good conscience, but I need to use that money to pay for my car right now. So, I just, uh, like, I really want to play more games that more people actually want to watch, and I want to, like, put some variety in this fucking channel, but that requires starting capital that I do not have to spare right now. So, if you... If you would be interested in this channel expanding in some manner, then please, send me your good vibes so that I can get a paying job with a steady income so I can have money to burn on hobbies like this. Because, honestly, 
all of my actual concrete concerted efforts to find work have failed. So now, I just shout into the void of the internet, asking for good vibes. Because what the fuck else can I do at this point, right? Uh... Not to get too real on you here, but like, I just spent the last three hours firing off job applications and that shit is soul crushing. If you are in the same boat right now, I feel you, buddy. <laughs> I've basically been in that boat off and on for the last three years. It fucking blows. But hey, at least we have video games and YouTube to make ourselves feel better. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about your sad life, Shavna. <laughs> but it's good. I, uh, I, uh, thankfully have a family supporting me and a, uh, uh, friends and a relationship and a roof over my head and at least for now enough to pay the small amount of bills that I have and it could be much worse and I am grateful. Thanksgiving! Thankful! I'm thankful for that! Yes. Here's hoping, uh, it gets better though. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Right? Right? It can't, it can't suck forever. <laughs> this is so depressing. Um, maybe it's time to take a breather for a minute and compose myself and, um, also figure out where the fuck I'm going. So, next time on Super Zombie Player, uh, We'll, we'll regroup and we'll see where this goes. Okay. Peace, love, and geekdom. Goodbye.